Good morning, CFI. This is Priya again. Um, I just had my check read yesterday and uh, I wanted to make this video to tell you my check read was like. What did they ask me? How did they read me? Before I forget and I hope it's going to help you in any ways. I came to Michigan for my check read. My DPE is one of the uh, well-known DPE in Michigan. Uh, if, you're, um, if you write me in the comment section, probably I'll I'll tell you who he was, but uh, that doesn't matter. Uh, if um, I, if you go anywhere, if you know your stuff, I, you should be good. Don't be scared. My CFI check right was an open book, so you need to know everything. What, uh, but you don't need to remember everything. Um, if you have any doubt or you have any question, you forget something, you can always refer to your uh, notes, your uh, FA books. Uh, he will get um, give you enough time. So after doing my documents and IACRA, I this he straight away started uh, with the fundamentals of instructions, then followed by regulations. Then he asked me questions about aerodynamics, how to teach, and he asked me he wanted to see my lesson plan for uh, one maneuver. He told me before on the call. But I had all my lesson plans done. I have a big CFI binder, which I worked on it for three months. He was really happy to see that. You, all, some DP doesn't want be a binder. Some DP might want to see the lesson plan. So that depends. So I wrote down all the questions last night. And um, so I could uh, I could take you through how it was like. Um, and I, I don't think I forgot anything, but this is what I like. So the first question he asked me, explain human needs, hazarded attitudes, and how do you correct them? Laws of learning, abnormal, abnormal reactions to stress, uh, then uh, describe fantasy, projection, uh, denial and repression, uh, attitudes of the student, stages of learning. Um, I kind of just totally went blank on that, but I opened my book and then I found out that, that it's very easy route and um, understanding. Um, correlation stuff like that how do you know when learning has occurred of course there's a change in behavior if the student is afraid of stalling the airplane how are you going to make the student comfortable um, if um, instructors responsibilities what are the distraction uh, in teaching in airplane of noise uh, other things I'm sure you know all that uh, what how to minimize students frustration what document students should have before he start flight training, so what you need to look. And uh, uh, what documents, uh, what, maneuvering, uh, what maneuvers you will teach on first day to the student. Uh, what are the solo requirements? So things is what maneuvers or solo requirements I didn't know, but I knew where exactly to find. I tapped my fire aim um, in every important section. I just read it once, like three months ago, but I kind of had idea, but just to be confirmed and uh, not to make error, I read the fire aim and show where exactly with this. Uh, what are the solo requirements? What are the solo endorsements, pre-solo knowledge test? This is all in fire aim. You know, you just tab it and then you just read it. You don't need to remember it. Private pilot requirements, private pilot endorsement. He also asked me what is the short field landing distance. So I was not 100% sure. Uh, I did my private and commercial like 10 years ago. Um, so <laughs> I mean, kind of. Then um, I've opened ACS and I saw you know, for private pilots is 200 feet. For commercial pilots, it's 100 feet. Just wanted to make sure. I know you you land on the first line after the number, but I was not sure about the distance. What you need to log in your student logbook. It's everything. What do you need to what what uh what you need to logbook. Um, are you required to logbook uh, log anything in your logbook? No, you don't require, but you can. What records you need to maintain? So of course, it's also in fire aims. Like for three years, you need to write the date, the name, when was endorsed, what was kind of endorsement, all that. You have to save it for three years. Look at the fire aim again. Uh, how to give flight review? Would you give flight review? When you give flight review to airline pilot and they're not performing good, would you sign their logbook? So I said no. 
I mean, how would you tell them that I cannot sign your logbook? So you need to explain that. That probably better that we can do some more practice on some different areas. And then, but just do not sign the logbook unless you see they are safe. Talk about uh, runway incursion, sterile cockpit. These are runway incursion is the mandatory. Um, Task. So if you look at the PTS, just follow the PTS and if you know every point in the PTS, you pass. I mean, I don't have to tell you anything. Uh, sterile to output, airport, airport signs, medical certificates requirements for student pilot. If student is afraid to stall, I think I talk about it, how would you uh, teach them? What endorsements are needed for student for cross-country flights? And ev does every cross-country need an endorsement? Yes, they do. Uh, then he asked me to take take me to another like class Charlie airport and he said um, if we are at the class Charlie Ch airport talk to me about runway incursion again uh, how how you're going to teach me so I, I showed him the taxi diagram I showed him the signs and hotspots and also uh, the run for the runway sign I did not have good images but trust me the farm has I had tapped the FRM airport signs and they have all the information. Those are accurate. Less chance that they're going to make an error, so it's FRM. Difference between moment area and moment not moment area. Uh, sterile cockpit and importance. Teach me aerodynamics lessons. So, guys, I need to tell you this. As a CFI, we know a lot of stuff. We know really good stuff. But when uh, we need to teach aerodynamic or any lesson to a student pilot, we, we should come to their level without scaring without making them overwhelm and teach their aerodynamics etc so i made another video of the, the exactly aerodynamics uh, because i was a ground instructor for a few months and uh, i taught uh, students uh, student pilots of um, 15 years or 16 years old uh, they were uh, 10 students in my class i taught them and my chief flight instructor used to mentor me I gave the same lesson and now I again recorded it. So keep it simple, keep it really straight. Don't get into a rabbit hole because if you ask some, if you add some fancy word, he's going to ask you, okay, what is it? Then explain it. So that's the tip you do. Do not try to put any words which you don't mean it or you don't know exact how does that mean. Uh, so please watch if you want to watch and I hope that would help you too. Um, then he asked, so yeah, in the aerodynamics, I started with four forces, lift, drag, curve, angle of attack, stalls, recovery. So in that bet between, he will say, what is stall, what, what is spin, what the, uh, you know, and how do you recover from that? So he will stop and ask question. Probably you'll, dif probably you'll get diverted to a totally different topic while teaching. So try, be prepared. Know everything, but you don't have to spill everything in front of your DP. Just keep it simple. Uh, if he asks you some uh, deep question, then be ready to answer it. There is no way you can uh, impress DP with your knowledge. He has done like 10,000 check right. He knows more, always know more. So don't try to be like, oh, I know, lift the questions, I know all that. So it is good to know. But just keep it simple, just treat him as like a 16 year old kid and you don't want to scare him away. Um, all, <laughs> oh, sorry. all left turning tendencies of propeller and one right, ten right turning tendency, the, uh, the precision, gyroscopic precision for Cessna. Uh, angle of attack of the propeller, what is angle of attack? Show your angle of attack. I also have a good video, I hope that makes, when I was teaching my student, I'm going to upload that. Um, that's going to help you. What is relative wind? Relative winds is always against your flight path. So he, uh, he was very, very particular about that. Uh, uh, wh why induced drag is l uh, more at the lower speed? So I have covered all this question in my aerodynamics lesson. Stability and st static stability, dynamic stability, stability of different axes, uh, front forward CG, uh, rearward CG, uh, then he asked me to teach either Le Chandel or Le Ziet. As for the PTS, I picked up Chandel. He gave me a choice. I taught the whole lesson of Chandel. I tried to. I will try to make that a video, just like a quick video. 
um, just in case uh, that might help someone and he saw my lesson plan he read it I have written all my lesson plan with hand with different pen color I'm old school you can put it on your tablet it's more better just to carry and then he asked me to look at the weather to make go and no go decision that was my interview it was almost like four hours some people go longer but I was I did not get myself in a rabbit hole I kept it really simple uh, so that saves me another the flying portion uh, a pre-flight he asked me to pre-flight he did not ask me too much about the pre-flight question Big, again there are like five tasks in PTS he just have to ask one so he did not ask me about pre-flight but then he came into the plane and then he said um, I'm a student pilot I'm this is my first flight so now teach me so don't forget to brief three-way control that is a mandatory failure if you don't do that uh, also tell them do not uh, when you give the control away uh, don't touch it don't fire it you have to leave the control another thing um, you see that red mixture for the first flight today we're not going to touch it so student don't accidentally um, miss it power and mixture and I think I heard from somebody who went before me that he actually pulled out the mixture in the flight and so stuff like that so don't tell your student not to touch the mixture control uh, teach basic about rudders and flight control start engine taxi he just wanted me to talk you to talk to the taxi like don't press rud brakes while taxiing maintain center line then follow checklist run up checklist talk about whole short line clear final approach other end and other end before entering the runway followed by radio call i did the first takeoff he wanted me to do short fill takeoff just after the takeoff he took the controls and he wanted me to talk you talk him through the climbing turns but he freezed on the controls he was then i showed him how to gently hold the yoke with two fingers i think i should have done but that's fine i was i was able to tell him do not freeze then uh, when he was trying to make turns uh, first he tried to stall because we, he couldn't maintain the climb so he too much sky said pitch down keep the nose on the horizon stuff like that and he was pressing too much. i asked him to keep the ball in the center he was pressing too much of right rudder like going left and right i said be gentle then uh, when he was making turn he was not looking left and right he was just looking down and doing this so i told him clear the area before you turn so that is also a big failure if you don't find the student correct a student like that another yeah so we climbed then uh, we cleared the area uh, he asked me i can do power off or power on so i did power off stall recovered he did power on to the perfection but while recovering he pr pressed unnecessarily a lot of rudder and our wing drop we almost got into spain and so this is the point we were at 4000 altitude uh, he gave me a feedback i took the controls I said I have the controls and he started yelling I'm gonna die I'm gonna die and I said no we're not gonna die so I followed the, I was a very light power idle error on neutral opposite rudder and elevator bits forward and I said no we're not going to die so he said you can take controls uh, or you can talk you through but that was fun uh, I had a little 150 and that was I don't know for some reason it just happened like that uh, but it was cool uh, I was laughing he was really acting like a s bad student <laughs> and making a lot of drama uh, then I demonstrated 50 degree bang he said now I'm commercial pilot um, like commercial student so I showed him 50 degree bank left and he tried to do one and he was descending a setting I was trying to correct look outside uh, keep that picture uh, I demonstrated chandel which I taught on the ground then I demonstrated, he wanted me to demonstrate either cross control or secondary straw. I showed him the cross control straw. Then I showed him, he hadn't wanted me to show him one unusual recovery and he needed to do one unusual recovery. So we, I did one, I showed him one. Um, uh, then he said, I got, I'm getting into cloud and how do you come out of that? So I, I said, just focus on the instrument, um, scan all the instrument uh, together one by one and uh, uh, don't forget uh, 
I mean, try to come 180 degree back out of the crowd. So that was good. Then uh, he asked me to pick an emergency and teach him. So I picked the emergency engine failure for best glass speed. I follow A, B, C, D, A for S speed, B for best glass, C for checklist. If you have time, D for declare one, one to 1 1.5 or 7700. Uh, then um, establish for um, execute the landing so i came like 700 feet i said that the uh, field is made let's go around and then we did power off uh, no then we did eight sun pylon i taught him how to do it i i taught him how to do a stone and i was it's like when you're talking you know as of say five and you're talking and doing it's not accurate <laughs> but you really have to do it look for look for wires look for obstacles when you come close to the ground and that is also mandatory CFI checkered point. Another, then he said, okay, take me back to airport. I came back and listened to the AC. I taught him just, just talk about how to enter into the traffic pattern, why we are doing what you're doing, why we're using that runway. He asked me to do power of 180. Then he asked me to do normal takeoff, uh, soft fill landing. Then, ta so I did power of 180 and soft fill landing, no short fill landing. And then he taxi back, checklist, shut down. Then he asked me to rate myself. I said, yeah, I was not 100% accurate. We almost got into spin because, but he said, yeah, you record. And he said, um, you don't have to be perfect, but do you think you were safe? And I said, yes, I'm, I'm sure I'm safe. So I'm, I'm sure I'm safe. I know what to look for. So he said, yes, I think so too. And congratulations, you are CFI. That was fun. I hope that helped. If you have any questions, please comment. I'll be ready to help you. Bye.